Hey, Manny Fash, 25th of February, 2024, and I still pray that you're all doing well. This is just another fun factoid video, kind of a continuation of my previous video. These types of things, I really do believe, can help people start to understand the underlying spiritual nature of the world and better understand it in the sense that you can discern that there is a good and evil. This is tangible stuff. I mean, these are things that anyone, to look at these things and say, hey, wow, you know, maybe there is a layer of reality that I'm not quite down with here, and maybe I should become familiar with it because it may save my eternal soul. Oh, I don't know, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what you're up against. Enough rambling. I was showing you 26 Wall Street repeatedly, right? Right here where George Washington was inaugurated and sworn in as our first president of the United States. Well, you know Trump's been facing a bunch of legal battles and he just keeps fighting. But one of the assets that he has in New York, the attorney has mentioned by name as an asset they could potentially seize to pay his fine is number 40 Wall Street. Get a load of this. I did not know this the other day when I made the first video, but this is 40 Wall Street, the Trump building with the blue copper pyramid roof. Just a very, very coincidental thing right there. And this line I was showing you going to Trump Tower. And this building was finished in 1930 on May 1st, ever so coincidentally. The same birthday as the Illuminati. And the 93, I've given you the symbolism for that. And it's amazing, you know, Illuminati founder Adam Weissop, Adam of the Bible, lived 930 years. Hence, the 93. And in 1946, when Trump was born, literally 26 days before Trump was born, an Air Force plane crashed into this building on the 58th floor. Trump Tower's 58 stories tall. There's a lot of history to this building. 72 stories they include the two underground ones and 72 sigils of Solomon that came to mind the other day in the last video. So I thought that was worthy of sharing. And then that line itself that was going from Wall Street next to the Trump building to Trump Tower. I forgot to bring this up. Back in 2016, they set up a replica of an Arch of Triumph from Palmyra, Syria. Now, they set this thing up on the 20th of September, 2016, right where this line intersects. And remember the other day, I was showing you the obelisk line, which intersects through the Arch of Washington. Right? You know, these are the kind of things that really, I'm just saying, they are not coincidental. They are actual, factual things that you can check and double-check. You know what I mean? Oh, and this is interesting, too. There was a big to-do about an LGBTQ funeral that was held at St. Patrick's Cathedral on Fifth Avenue in New York. Fallout stemming from a funeral mass that was held for transgender activist Cecilia Gentili at St. Patrick's Cathedral last week. Well, now the Archdiocese is condemning her funeral, saying that they were deceived into hosting the service. Fox News' Ashley Rodriguez has the latest on the controversy. God save the, rest. the funeral started out as most St. Patrick's Cathedral parishioners would expect one to. But outrage would soon fester from the services held for 52-year-old Cecilia Gentili, a trans woman, an advocate for sex workers, and an outspoken atheist. Thank you, Lord. 
Gay actor and singer Billy Porter, who worked with Gentilly on the FX television hit series Pose, sang at the services, followed by speakers whose attire and words left old school Catholics watching by live stream stunned as some of the mourners used inappropriate language in the eulogy, including a derogatory word for prostitute over and over again. This whore, this great whore, Saint Cecilia, mother of all whores, this great whore, Mother of all whores. All the rector requests prayer as the event happened during Lent. Ashley Rodriguez. Cecilia. Cecilia. Fox 5 News. So I see that and I just, it pops into my head. I got to go check and sure enough. If we go to that cathedral, which is right down the street from Trump Tower. Trump Tower is there. The cathedral's right there. That major obelisk line that I continually show you from Boston to Washington, D.C., it intersects with that main line literally over the cross of the cathedral. You see that? And that's the Trump Tower line from Wall Street. And it intersects over it perfectly. That's just, to me, like coincidence, right? And there are a ton more coincidences that connect directly into this. And I'm going to share those with you, but it's just too much for one video. You know what I mean? From the Trump seizure potential to the backlash at the cathedral. And it connects directly to Trump being in Nashville, Tennessee the other day for the National Religious Broadcasters Convention. He promises a revival of Christian power. I will share that with you because he was there on the same day that the big AT&T outage occurred. These all connect together and I will share them with you. I'm just led to do these types of videos, you know. As long as you indwell the spirit of the living God only attainable through Jesus Christ, his atoning blood that will allow you to discern these things and not be deceived. Because you can easily go down rabbit trails with this stuff that become your religion. So proceed with caution. Praise God. So see you on the next one. God bless each and every one of you. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God,